I remember when I was 12 and I was like tryharding at Lucid Dreaming because I needed a friend <laughs> in my Lucid Dreams and I was uh, in a lot of these discords and I remember one Lucid Dreamer who was like some adult guy, I don't know. He had like three Lucid Dreams a night as well. That guy was fucking crazy. Um, I remember this guy though talking about how he created a room in his dreams, in his Lucid Dreams, a room he could go back to every night and this dude was talking about how he like stored weapons in the room and shit like that. And at the time I was thinking, there's no way this is real. But like this guy actually knew what he was talking about. He knew his shit. Anyways, fast forward a few, this relates to what I'm about to say. Fast forward a few years later and I'm reading about like persistent realms and stuff and you, how you can create worlds in your dreams. This isn't important, but basically you can create worlds in your lucid dreams, right? <laughs> if you didn't know. Um, and a few years later after this, I was starting up lucid dreaming again. I was like 15 years old and I was trying to get a bunch of lucid dreams. So I was thinking, okay, maybe that guy in discord when I was 12 wasn't fucking lying and he actually created a room in his lucid dreams. And at the same time, I was like watching The Matrix and like Inception and all these kind of dream related films. So uh, that shit got me like so inspired to try and like try hard at lucid dreaming. And I was thinking like, bro, if I can create a fucking room in my lucid dreams that I can go back to every night whenever I want, that would just be like the most metal thing ever. <laughs> that, would just be, that would just be crazy, bro. So that was my goal to create a room in my lucid dreams that stayed the same and I could change things in it, go back to it, blah, blah, blah. And actually around the same time, I was obsessed with like Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> you know that, you know that kid's animation with like the hot vampire, bro? I, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Hotel Transylvania. Anyways, all these other movies, I was just obsessed with all these other movies, like The Matrix, obviously and Inception, and Twilight, bro. Oh, I fucking love vampires. Anyways, so I was so obsessed with all these movies that I was thinking I wanted to create the worlds from these movies in my lucid dreams. So I was thinking I could make like a portal room in my lucid dream. So this was basically the room I wanted and I was thinking I could create a portal room where I could store portals to worlds that I could go to in my lucid dreams. And I was, I actually went fucking like autistic with this bro. I, I wrote a whole document on this portal room. I wrote the description of the room. I got a fucking picture, some random stock image off Google of what I wanted the room to look like when I first started like in it, when I first spawned in the room. I got a, I got a picture of what I wanted the door to look like and I created a secret passcode to this room. I'm not gonna tell you, bro, because it's secret. But uh, I literally wrote a whole fucking Google Doc on this portal room and gave myself a secret code. And I wrote that every time I said this code and turned around, the door to the portal room, which I got the image of, would be there. And then I could go into the room. And so so I like wrote down that she would be in the portal room on my fucking um, 10 page Google document. <laughs> Um, and so I remember there was this one lucid dream I had after I planned out this portal room and stuff. I started really going deep into this and I started taking a lot of notes on this portal room. <laughs> it sounds so crazy, bro. But, um, then at the same time I was watching Tron. I watched the movie Tron. I don't know if you know that. And in the movie Tron, there's a girl called Jem. I'll like put an image somewhere on the screen for you, bro. There's a girl called Jem. And I wanted her to be in the portal room to, I don't know why I wanted her. I just like, bro, I wasn't, I wasn't even like thinking about fucking her or anything. I, trust me. I just wanted her in the portal room to like basically uh, be able to do anything I want and like listen to all my commands, <laughs> like, like my slave, <laughs> like my dream slave. <laughs> and I became lucid and realized I was dreaming and went to spawn the door to the portal room. And in this dream, there was actually a guy who like bet me $20 that I couldn't spawn the door. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I spawned the door and went into the portal room in this dream. And the portal room looked exactly as it looked on my Google Doc, bro. <laughs> that was like the happiest day of my life. And Jem was there as well. The woman I wanted in the portal room was there. And I asked her to spawn a portal to Hotel Transylvania. 
I asked her to spawn a portal to Hotel Transylvania, bro, because I wanted to be a vampire in this, like, kid's animation. <laughs> um, so that happened, and I just thought that was crazy. And a couple times after that, I went to the portal room, but they were kind of shitty, lucid dreams. I didn't really get to do anything. And there was one time I actually went to this portal room, and I made her, I made Jem, the woman in the room, put up Christmas decorations because it was <laughs> it was near Christmas time, bro. And I really like Christmas. So I asked her to put up Christmas decorations in this room in my lucid dreams. And after that, the next time I went into the portal room in my lucid dream, the Christmas decorations were there, bro. So this is crazy. You can literally create a room in your dreams, in your lucid dreams that will stay persistent with persistent characters in it, it will stay the same. It's crazy. So this sounds crazy. This sounds like I'm just on a fucking schizo rant right now and I'm just yapping. But th this is weird because it's like a dream. So dreams are random. So all this random weird stuff happens, all right, hear me out. I, there was one time I went into the portal room but the dream was very unclear and very like unstable. And so I asked Jem, if she could keep me from waking up. I said, can you keep me from waking up? I can feel I'm about to wake up. And she said, okay, I got you, bro. And then Jem kind of like hugged me or something. I don't really know if you would call that a hug. She embraced me, bro. She embraced me. And when she did that, the dream instantly cleared up and it became stable. And of course it ended eventually, but I just thought that was a crazy thing. Anyways, so those are the adventures of my portal room, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been there in ages, but just know you can create a room in your lucid dreams that stays the same. That's the end of my fucking schizo rant, bro. Subscribe to me.